Welcome back to the Morning Blend. To attract new students, universities all over the country have to keep up with the job market and find new ways to make graduates valuable to future employers. Recently, Molly went on a tour at the University of Wisconsin in Milwaukee to check out the creative and innovative ways this school is helping students succeed in today's world. Take a look. So here it is, this brand new, beautiful building. This is where they're going to welcome new students. It's also where they will teach entrepreneurship skills, not just to business students, but to all students. And that is exactly what distinguishes UWM from all other schools in the state. So you're the director of the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center here, which is exciting. Why does it make sense for you to be part of and in the same building as the Welcome Center? It was part of our strategy. We want every student and family that comes to visit UWM to see from the very first day that entrepreneurship can be part of what they do at UWM. Some of the things that we're doing is giving skills, uh, in, giving skills to students in innovation, creativity. We're teaching them about experimentation, about how to uh, fail quickly and find opportunities. And so these skills are important, not just if you want to start a company, but if you want to be valuable to your employer or if you want to think about your career in different ways. The entrepreneurial experience can teach you things regardless of your discipline. So we, we really want to engage all UWM students in, in some way in entrepreneurship. What's going to go on here as part of the Welcome Center and the now Entrepreneurship Center being here too? Well, for the Welcome Center, families will come and tour UWM and, and get to see this great space as well as the campus. For the Entrepreneurship Center, we have a series of activities that will kind of anchor what we're doing here. We have core programming and so we have ideas challenge courses where faculty members are adapting their courses to include innovation and entrepreneurship themes. We also have innovation studios, a hardware innovation studio and a software innovation studio so students can build prototypes and, and try out their ideas. And we have what we call a touchdown and launch space so that students and faculty who are starting companies can, can work together and the whole building as you can see it's very open and it is designed to have these intentional collisions between people. So the other thing that we'll have here we have community partners and Milwaukee has a great growing ecosystem of entrepreneurship. We're going to be a part of that here and have a lot of community programs hosted in this space as well. I notice these paper airplanes almost everywhere I look. What, what's the deal with those? There's a couple of key themes uh, around what we do here. Uh, one of them is participation and uh, the paper airplanes and a, and a gong we have downstairs are part of uh, how we make it a very participative uh, environment. The second is experimentation and so the place will look very different in six months and six months later it will look different still. When we uh, try things out, we want to find out what works and scale that quickly as you do in entrepreneurship. The last piece is gratitude. Uh, among our students and among uh, our supporters, we want to emphasize to everyone how grateful we are to be a part of this and for the people that are helping make it possible. So that's all part of the paper airplanes and other things are, are part of the spirit of things you see here, which is a very working space here at UWM. You're the chief enrollment officer. You gotta be super pumped about this new space. Yes, it's so beautiful and amazing and we're just thrilled to welcome students to this building and share our space with the Lubar Entrepreneurship Center. So anyone who's interested in a campus tour or learning more about UWM, this is where they come and this is where they will arrive to start to learn about that uh, educational journey that they're about to embark upon. Is it still the case where uh, a, a tour, mm -hmm. hands-on, um, in-person, is really the best way to get a feel for a school and, and whether or not you want to go there? Absolutely. Just walking around the campus, meeting the people, seeing the sites, you get a feel for what it's going to be like uh, to be a part of that cult culture, that community, kind of what it feels like on your skin is really, really important. What's the mix of students like here and is it something that you're proud to share with other people? Absolutely. UWM is very proud of our diverse campus from racial and ethnic diversity. We have the most military veterans on campus. Uh, we're one of the most welcoming campuses for LGBTQ students. So we really um, embrace our entire community. Um, adults, freshmen, even high school students and college for kids in the summer. What's the experience like here? Walk me through a tour or a visit. I saw a great cafe over there. Absolutely. So walk in the door, uh, grab your cup of coffee on the way in, and then you'll come here to the Welcome Center. Uh, the first part of the campus tour is a presentation from one of our admissions advisors to kind of give a brief overview of what UWM is all about, uh, our points of pride, and answer some questions for the families. Uh, once that's over, uh, they will leave on the campus tour that are led by our phenomenal campus ambassadors, current students who really know what it's like to be a student here, uh, and to highlight uh, all over campus, the Union, the Clatchy Center, the Library, 
library and walk students through what a day in the life of a panther will be. Once that's over, it lasts about 90 minutes. Uh, we'll come back here to the Welcome Center and answer any final questions. But students also have the opportunity if they want to learn more about a specific major, they can meet with staff and faculty in that department, see specific buildings, and really dig in deep to what they want to study while they're here. You can visit for yourself the new Welcome Center at UWM to learn more about the new Lubar Entrepreneurship Center. The best way to do that is by scheduling a campus tour. And if you do that during the summer, prospective students can have their choice of tickets to Summerfest, Brewers Game, Wisconsin State Fair, or Mexican Fiesta. Nice. So, yeah, how about that? Schedule a tour now by going to uwm.edu visit. It's easy to do. Cool stuff. It was beautiful there. Yeah, it looks Absolutely. like it. Very cool programming. Mm -hmm.